Hi everybody, welcome back to the Degelman Farm. We're a hobby farm in central Minnesota uh, that does something kind of unique. We host weddings and events here at our farm. Wintertime is our off season. Uh, nothing really going on here now other than projects around the farm. Getting ready for when we do hold those events and weddings in the summer months. So uh, we during this time we kind of fix things up and there goes Ricky. He'll be back. Come on buddy. Get your bone. Come on. There he comes. He's bringing his bone now. He wanted to make sure you saw his bone. Uh, but today we're going to, we've worked on some other projects, getting some lights going and some other features around the farm here, uh, old trucks and things like that. Today we're going to work on this fire truck. It's a 1964 Ford uh, cab over. The engine uh, we got to get at we got a deep cycle battery already for it I've changed out a few of the light bulbs I was waiting on a few other parts we needed to finish this and I like I've said many times I think I have everything I need to do this project but we'll see once I get into it but Ricky and I'll uh, get started on that and uh, stick with us and watch Well, I think what I'm gonna do first, folks, we're gonna finish switching some of these lights out. I switched a few over already, um, but we're gonna switch some of the rest of them over. That should have turned on, let's see here, what all came on. The marker lights up top, I already switched those over. So those are LEDs, brand new LED bulbs. We want, the running lights, the headlights and the running lights to be on when we're doing this. Let's switch the rest of these bulbs. I got a, I got an LED bulb in here. I've got to put a couple in here. So let's start with that. blinking lights on and see if that works. I don't think we'll have those on during the vents, but I'm still gonna switch them over. Oh yeah, heck yeah, that one works. These are all warm tone lights, which are a little harder to find. Everybody's got the real white ones, but that isn't what I wanted. They didn't want the real white ones. So those are switched over. Let's, I think I already did those, but I'm gonna open them up just to be sure. covers back on these so all these are done but I'm not sure what it takes to energize this light if that's I thought they were marker lights that would be on all the time but apparently not and they don't come on with the flashers you know it's possible I have a blown fuse or something but I have nothing there and that's okay that's not the end of the world if those don't but I'd hope those would be on, too. Hmm. Well, we'll put the covers back on these, and then we'll work on the headlights. <laughs> now, 
And as I said, we're gonna, we don't drive this truck. It, it may run, I don't even know that. Guy I got it from claimed it ran when he got it. Uh, but I'm not concerned if it runs or not. No, we just, it's just for looks and people take pictures in front of it. And it's just kind of a fun thing to have. I always thought it'd be cool to have a fire truck when I was a kid. And now I got one. It took me 60 years, but I got one. So we've got all these changed over to LEDs. We've got the marker lights up top changed over to LEDs. And those all work. These all work when the flashers are on. These work when the flashers are on. These are the only ones that concern me. I'd hope those would be would be on just with the headlights on as a marker lamp um, but they're not so let's do the headlights and uh, let's see how that works see if i did that right well we'll unplug the old lamp we won't need that anymore this black wire here is our ground that goes up attached to the frame one of these wires is low beam and one is high beam now we're not going to need because we've got different LED lamps. We won't need high beam and low beam. I'll probably just use one of those. I'm not sure which is which. I guess it really doesn't matter, but I'll only use one. I'll put a cap over the other one. And here's the lamps we're putting in. There's an LED bulb in there. I bought these housings. You can buy these housings that are just blank in the back. They're just open. Kind of make this fixture work, but I've got these sockets that hold that LED bulb. This would be your hot wire. The blue goes to the outside, so that's your ground. And white is hot in this case. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut all three of these wires. I'll keep that plug with the headlight bulb, just in case, with the old headlight bulb. We'll strip these, we'll cap one. We need our ground, and we'll use the red. Whether that's the high beam or low beam, it really doesn't matter. So there, then we'll cap off that green wire. Just so that doesn't short out against anything. I'll put that up in there. Well there, that's in there. I won't put that trim ring on yet. Let's go turn the switches on and see if our light works even. Oh, and look at that. We've got a LED headlight in there. All right, let's put that trim ring on and then we'll do the other one. Works. We've got, we've got a headlight. It works. We know all this stuff works. Now we'll do the other one here. The other old headlight. Thank you. 
right, that's all done. And go around the back side here. We've got a lot of lights back here that I haven't done anything with yet. We've got we've got red lights there. We got the flashing lights here, and I'm not sure which ones are just like tail lights. You know, you think one of them would be on as a tail light. One of these lights inside of here. I don't know. I guess we'll take it apart and find out. I'm going to take a short break, Tom, so I'm going to shut this off for a bit.